Hey, you guys remember A Bug's Life, right? Do you remember this ant guy here? Do you remember him having a giant fucking pussy? It's not a giant pussy, but it's very much exposed. Why does this guy from Bug's Life have a vagina? <laughs> Hello, sunshine, and welcome to r slash crappy design. I will be your guide. I'm Q-Star, and let's just jump into this cringe. Mike is hard. God damn, why is the phone number cut off? I need that phone number or that email address. We need to get in contact with Hard Mike. Oh. My. God. This reminds me of one of those pictures incels would show you and be like, Look at this zero out of ten. How are they ever going to get a relationship? Black pill. I disagree that this is a crappy design. I think this is a beautiful design. You can turn a normal, boring advertisement into a legitimately horrific image just by opening a window. I like that. You're 16, and soon you'll be a licensed driver. First rules of driving. Always have your eyes closed. Always have your hands in the air and a cell phone in your hand. Sparkly red vehicle is optional. Avalon flooring. Inspired home design starts here. Fuck. Um, I think, I guess this is supposed to be a child jumping, but it does not look like that. I guess Avalon flooring is the perfect floors to collapse onto when you see your child hanging from the ceiling as, like, an eight-year-old girl. I don't know. That's really fucking dark. But fuck, this is a really weird ad. Now that's what I call a serious design fail. <laughs> what a fucking caption. That caption is so cringe. I fucking love it, though. This could actually be really successful if they licensed the My Little Pony characters and sold these to neckbeards. I'm sure they would be very into it. Hey, is something bugging you? You got this dumb kid on your back. You just went on a three-day coke binge and went to bed at 5.35. It's 6 in the morning. She's coming in your bedroom. Eliminate him. Call today. 1-800-GET-THE- the fuck out, you dumb pink shirt asshole. Sorry, that got kind of dark, but it is. It's eliminate them pest control services. Maybe the child is coming to the father for help because she's like, Dad, there's cockroaches all over the house. Stop spending all of our money on cocaine. Please call the exterminator. We need help. We need to live like normal human beings. This is one of the most confusing images I've ever seen in my life. Save your finger. Your child holding to walk in your finger. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay. Let's try and break this down. I really don't know how this works. Is anybody reading this properly? Save your child... Your finger holding your finger to walk. There's like no fucking arrangement where this makes any sense. And that graphic image, that looks photoshopped in. That might not be real. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Okay, people said that delivery drivers might have issues with this neighborhood. I didn't see a problem at first. But then you zoom in, and every street is Finberry Street. Finberry Street is not a street, but a network of streets. How the fuck would you find anything in this neighborhood? Hey, Tony, you remember that mural we put up on the building? Yeah, yeah, the one with the smiling mom and child. Yeah, it's cute, right? No, well, there's a, the girl, the small child. She's got a sideways metallic Chris Chan penis, and it's... People feel uncomfortable opening the door. It's causing productivity issues around the office. All right, this one to me is a mix of oddly satisfying and crappy design because the automatic doors just are, like, triggering each other over again, so it goes on in a loop. I'm going to speed this up in post, but just watch this play out. All right, this is supposed to say, Jim Hair, don't care. I thought it was just like, it's 2018, man. You can't be judging people for having cum in their hair all the time, man. They're just living their life. Remember, kids, when it comes to cheerleading and teamwork, the first rule is always, no one ugly allowed. If you can remember that, you will make it far in this world. This reminds me of the only high school basketball game I ever went to. I was in seventh grade, and I was on the travel basketball team, so we watched our town's high school team play another town's high school team, and I remember there being a chant. It was really fucking weird. Everybody started chanting, you're all ugly, you're all ugly, at the other team's cheerleaders, and it was really sad because they kind of were all ugly there were like four of them and it's really weird when four strange looking women try to pump up an entire crowd it was uh it was it was a very hard thing to experience my inner white knight wanted to go out on the court and stand with them in solidarity 
Who the fuck thought glass bathroom stalls would be a good idea? My only guess, it says this was at a school, so I'm guessing it was like an art school or something like that, and they're like, we cannot hide the humanity. We must observe man at his most vulnerable, embarrassed, and primal. Genuinely, this is kind of art. I mean, if you look at it, it looks like it could totally be hung up in a museum somewhere. This was posted on r slash crappy design, and I don't really get it. This is aesthetic as fuck for me. I think this is cool. It's just, I mean, it is a crappy design because it's like, why the fuck would they build that? But that's what's intriguing about it to me. <laughs> the title on this said, this gives me a stroke. And it's fucking true. May stroke is Awareness National Month. How fucking confusing could you possibly be? This is so uncomfortable. I'm so glad that I never have to use a fucking trifold poster again. Fuck school. Ugh, this upsets me. Lighting is important, and it needs to be symmetrical and in line with one another. Like, don't you take any pride in your work, electrician that did this? Don't you have any fucking dignity? I think they might have done it to avoid sprinklers or something like that. But work together with the water people. Don't be... We need to all come together and make things look nice. Don't, don't do this. You got a lube job that you need completed? Go with Super Penetrant. Holy fuck, he's in it right there, man. He's greasing that shit up. Get it nice and greasy, baby. <laughs> That's what his face is saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not in to nuts and bolts or whatever this stuff is. Oh, he's doing it to himself. He is the bolt or whatever. Fuck. That is really fucking creepy now. Oh, this is getting weird. All right, this is the first usage of Comic Sans. Smile often. Think positively. Give thanks. Laugh loudly. Love others and dream big. Oh yeah, also did I mention fucking Godzilla? And also it's available in a mug if you'd like. All right, this one is not at all an r slash crappy design. This is from r slash blunder years, and that's an entire subreddit dedicated to the time in our lives where we thought that this is the coolest thing we could be doing. We were making decisions about what was stylish and what was cool, and we were committing to them. I remember there was a time in my life where I would have killed to be able to match a Green Day shirt with a Green Day messenger bag. That would have been everything to me. I would have felt like the coolest person ever, but uh, sadly I could not get the messenger bag. I had plenty of Green Day shirts, no messenger bag so I cannot be as cool as this person they said this was their first day of middle school which is kind of funny to me I had a really bad first day of like third or fourth grade I wore uh, an emo shirt it was a band the used if you've heard of them and then like black shorts with this black shirt and somebody called me out for being emo and it like ruined my day I was like battling with them being like it's not emo it's just it's like punk music or whatever I tried to fucking justify it as it was emo I still like emo stuff so but whatever and let me know if you want me to cover r slash blunder years. It's been something that's kind of like been banging around my head for a while. I've also been thinking about taking submissions of your guys' blunder years. I think that would be something wicked funny we could do. Sorry if this was a super long outro, but let me know if that's a subreddit you'd be interested in. Skate on, rollerbladers, and I will see you tomorrow. Stay beautiful. And I'm Steven Reed.